Subscribe Technical Babaji channel and press the bell icon to get the latest video updates. Hi, it's me Tariq Akhtar Ansari. In this video, I'm going to show you how to host a static website from GitHub and we can say that how to create a GitHub pages. But before going next, let me request you, please subscribe my channel if you're watching first time because making a video takes a lot of time. Your subscriptions, your like and comments motivate me to make more videos. Okay, so before going next, you should have one GitHub account. If you don't have, just go and create and then come back and watch this video till the very end. Okay, so I have already a GitHub account. So click on repositories and click on new. And here I'm going to give the name like first web site. Okay, this name is available. Okay, if you want, you can write the descriptions. Here you will find two options, public and private. For the private, you have to pay money because that is not coming with free versions. So if you want to use in free, then you have to use public. You just have to click on the public, then click on initialize this repository with a readme file. So it will create a readme.md markdown file, then click on create repository. Now our repository is ready. We don't have any file. We just have one readme.md file. And in readme.md file, we have just text by default generated is first website. Now come here and click on the settings and just scroll down and you will find GitHub pages. Okay. Here by default it is none. Just select master branch or whatever the branch where your project is. Okay. So this will refresh your page. Okay. So once again go back and scroll down and here you will find one link is already generated so this will this is our website static page link okay if you'll click here you can see first website so this content is coming from markdown file i have already told you that okay let me open in another tab then i can explain So here you can see first website and let me go here and here you can see first website. So this is the markdown file. Now I'll upload my website in this repository and I'll show you. Okay. So for the website, I have already downloaded one template from this website. If you want to download the free template, then you can visit here so many template you will find i have downloaded one of the template and the zip file so i have already this is the template i have already extracted that template in this folder okay so i'm going to upload the content of this template okay so i'll upload all this file with folders okay so now coming back to my github repository just click here upload files and make it small because you can read here drag files here to add to your repository okay or choose your files but if you will choose the files then folder will not come for uploading everything just drag and drop this is the best way so here you can see one to 45 files i'm uploading here okay now all the files is uploaded here just you have to add one comment here so here i am adding comment like first website okay that's it just click on comment and it will take a little bit time now here you can see all the updates all the file is already updated here okay now make sure you have one index.html otherwise you will find 404 not found error okay so let me test it once again let me refresh it 
here we go here you can see my static website is ready so in this way you can host your static website from github or you can create a github pages which will display your about the projects in or you can give the information about the projects in this way okay now if you want to add custom domain here that is also possible for adding the custom domain let me first show you i'll get the domain from the free now from there you can get the domain absolutely free you don't have to pay any amount just check any domain name like first website check for availability dot ml dot cf is available okay get it now just click on get it now click here check out first dot cf just click over here and forward it to this url whatever your website url just control a control c and control a control v over here just is for 3 months you can get till 12 months for free okay continue now you have to log in so i'm logging from my face google account okay so after the login you will be redirected in this page okay so here you can see all the details i have already filled up and just click over here and complete the order so now here you can see order confirmations order number is this okay click here to go in client area just if you want to reconfirm it just go here my domains here you can see i have registered one more domain previously i have registered one then this is the second domain so now if anyone will click okay so finally if someone will type my domain name first website.cf let me show you one more time so finally if anyone will type my domain name first hyphen website.cf if he will enter he will be redirected to my website my web pages okay so thank you guys for watching this video if you have any doubt you can comment below in this video you can like this video you can share and subs please subscribe my channel thank you